today we're going to show you what this means to this. Stay tuned and you'll find out. How's everyone doing today? I want to bring you something quick and easy and just put something out there. Now this is not one of my new computers. I've had this one for a couple months now. Uh, got it pretty cheap and uh, I've actually done a video on this. There's, there's like an hour long live video on this particular machine but I want to show you today my iMac G5. It's a rather interesting machine and let's take a look at now, it. As you see we're out here in the kitchen you see uh, the lime green iMac sitting there that I just did a video on the other week and of course over here in this corner is my Mac Pro used to sit here um, but I have relegated uh, my Mac Pro out to the dining room or to the living room now and so now my PC which barely ever gets used anymore is now sitting in the kitchen but I wanted to show you one of my favorite computers today and that's my G5 iMac EyeSight model. Uh, this is uh, one of the last, this is the last version of G5 iMac that was made in uh, 2005. Um, it's a very nice computer. This is actually one of my favorites. Uh, I actually bought this on a whim. I didn't even know what it was and uh, didn't know if it was a it was a G5 or an Intel. The the owner of the machine couldn't even tell me. So, you know, fifty bucks. I figured, hey, either way, you know, it'd be worth something. So, well, I ended up getting it, and we found out later that it's actually a prototype model. So, uh, it's not really any different than any other G5 iMac. I mean, you see it; it's just a standard white model iMac. It's a, a 17 or 19 inch. Uh, model. It's got a pretty big screen. Uh, EyeSight camera with micro. There's a microphone there. Um, there's actually an infrared remote sensor behind the Apple here, which is kind of funky. Um, I never even knew that was there until I took the machine apart. Um, we have a uh, DVD burner super drive here. And, uh, on the back is where it gets interesting. Of course, it's an iMac. But take a note down here. We got uh, optical audio out, input, uh, three USB ports, two FireWire 400, gigabit Ethernet, and a display mini display port. <coughs> but this is something that no other iMac G5 has. And at first, we didn't know what it was. But we found out it's a memory card reader. It's a pretty lousy design. Uh, it's got a little cover on it for both uh, SD and uh, compact flash cards. Uh, I don't have a compact flash card right now, but I do have this little SD card. And, uh, it does not read the, the newer models, the uh, high capacity cards, but it does read the older ones. And it's, it's kind of funky the way it has to go in there. But it does work. I mean, I mean it's fully supported by the software. So, and then over here you got your standard power button. Uh, nothing too terribly, you know, exciting. But it's one of my favorite machines. You know, I play games on it. Let's fire it up here. You notice a little light down on the bottom, which is kind of neat because you hear it chime. But the screen doesn't come on. The screen takes a little while to come on. And the little light down on the bottom kind of lets you know that, hey, I'm doing something. And as the screen's getting ready to come on, you'll see it gently fade away. 
I thought that was a neat little touch. Now, oops. I'm running OS 10.4 on this. I don't particularly care for 10.5. Uh, I like to have the classic support, so I, I usually stick with 10.4 on my computers. Log in here. Um, you know, see my backdrop. <laughs> If we go to about this Mac, oh, my server mounts. We'll see it's a 2.1 gigahertz powered PC G5, has a one and a half gigs of DDR2 RAM, which is actually not bad. I mean, this thing we doing pretty good with that actually. Here, and we'll see it's a Power Mac 12, comma 1. This is where it's kind of cool. This here, the system boot ROM, is actually a beta. The B in the uh, 5.2.6 B10 is actually uh, a beta version 10. Um, the actual complete models I have an F there with I think a five so but this this machine is pretty cool because like most G5s this has Bluetooth built in uh, it's 2.0 Bluetooth 2.0 um, you can go into disk burning here and you'll see it's got a true dual layer DVD burner which is nice it has a Radeon X600 built-in video card with 128 megs of dedicated video memory. And it's a PCI Express. And it's pretty quick, you know, for a G5. And you'll see, these have 512 megs built onto the motherboard, and then there's a one uh, DDR2 slot, uh, which has a one gig div in it at the moment. Um, I will upgrade it eventually. And uh, I do not have the, the original hard drive is not in it. I have a 300 gig hard, 320 gig hard drive in it. Um, it has Airport Extreme, which is a uh, wireless N. Actually, uh, it's connected to my Airport AC. So, and uh, that's really about it. I mean, it's you know, it, it's a pretty nice machine. Um, I play games and stuff on it. You can see all the, the goodies I have down here. <laughs> I got all kinds of crap on this thing. But uh, I like playing Unreal Tournament on this against the guys on the Power PC Gaming Lounge, which if you have a Power Mac or even no, yeah, try it out. We have a lot of fun trying to kill each other. It plays Unreal Tournament at max settings pretty nicely. So, as you can see, I mean, everything moves pretty smoothly. But this is the most interesting thing right here. Right here is that SD card. And you'll see it's mounted on the desktop just like a regular, like any other kind of external hard drive. So, you know, that was, uh, that was a big bonus, you know, and uh, I can do anything I want with this card. I just have it in here just to show it off. So, but that's the G5 Power Mac. Uh, it used to belong to Apple. It actually has an Apple sticker on the bottom. You know, so not really much to say. Just uh, wanted to show it off a little bit. Uh, I haven't powered it up in a couple days. I really should come out here and do that more. I used to use it more often when I had the Mac Pro out here. So that's the one downside to not having it out here. <laughs>
So, and everything else works on it. The eyesight works on it. It works really nice. So, I had got the original keyboard and mouse with it. The I didn't. The mouse was a Mighty Mouse, corded Mighty Mouse. Um, uh, the ball didn't work too well, and uh, my Logitech mouse here, which is just you know you run the mail mouse. I like this one better for gaming. This is, this is a very comfortable mouse. It's an old M100. Nothing special. But I do like these keyboards. These are some of my favorite keyboards. I have a wireless version of this on my Pro. So, and then you can see in the background, I got a 512 meg iPod shuffle. <laughs> Which does still work, actually. It still holds a great charge. So, but that's it. <laughs> Not much to say, you know. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to answer them. Until next time.